good morning everyone uh, let's uh, talk about the uh, contents of the axilla the third uh, most important uh, content uh, is the brachial uh, plexus now uh, the brachial plexus here is uh, totally different from uh, the lumbar and uh, sacral uh, plexuses uh, the brachial plexus is a bit complicated in terms of uh, its relation and uh, uh, diverse branches so um, what is important for me is uh, to understand uh, that it's not uh, branches that usually emerge and they supply uh, muscles before they do so they go through uh, what we call plexus uh, so this is a c5 uniting with c6 so this is anterior primary root uh, number 5 c5 uniting with c6 and they forming the uh, upper trunk now let's go here this is uh, c8 root number c8 uniting with uh, thoracic root t1 and they forming the lower trunk so upper trunk lower trunk and this one this is c7 root c7 it does not unite with either of uh, uh, roots and it forms by itself the uh, middle trunk so here we have roots as you can see them here roots and in the other here are the trunk the upper the middle and here we have the uh, lower uh, trunk so as you have noticed uh, the brachial plexus is simply union and subsequent division so uh, C5 let's do it here C5 unites with C6 and they form the upper trunk this is trunks here roots the root number 7 does not unite with anything it, it is uh, by itself forming the middle uh, trunk uh, the C8 plus T1 they unite and they form the inferior trunk now as you can see uh, the brachial plexus it is a union of the lower uh, four thoracic uh, cervical uh, nerves plus uh, T1 this is the definition of uh, the brachial plexus anterior uh, formed uh, in the posterior triangle we already talked about the posterior triangle in the last lecture and uh, by the union of the anterior uh, primary rami of the fifth sixth seventh and eighth cervical uh, roots plus uh, first thoracic spinal uh, nerve that is c5 with c6 they form the upper trunk c7 middle trunk 
C8 and T1 inferior trunk now you may ask uh, uh, according to what we call them superior or upper uh, inferior or uh, lower and middle uh, trunks according to their presence in your body in the anatomical position so if we go back here as you can see uh, the upper trunk uh, or the superior trunk it is superior in the anatomical position and the middle it is middle and the inferior it is inferior so as simple as you can uh, see now uh, each trunk will uh, subsequently divide into anterior division and posterior division let's go back here uh, this is a very complex uh, division uh, according to the anatomical position some of them would go anterior some of them would go posterior anterior division posterior division so uh, in this chart it's much uh, uh, it is clear uh, here we can uh, talk about it uh, in detail that was the upper uh, trunk that was the upper trunk it divides into anterior and posterior division so let's just change the color here make it this is the upper trunk and this is the middle trunk this is the inferior one now each one of them will, will divide into anterior anterior and posterior here posterior and anterior and posterior so as you can see the brachial plexus is a uh, union and subsequent division this is the key to understand the brachial plexus it's a union and subsequent division c5 plus c6 they formed the superior or upper trunk c8 t1 they formed inferior trunk now the seventh c7 does not unite with anything but it is it forms the middle trunk so the first uh, station here we have roots then trunks union and subsequent division that was the union now let's talk about the uh, subsequent division each trunk divides into anterior and posterior also in their anatomical position it is anterior in anatomical position this one is posterior in anatomical uh, position now what do you think after uh, as i told you uh, divisions it should be followed by subsequent union and therefore uh, the uh, that was uh, division should be followed by union the fourth uh, stage is the chords now if we choose another color maybe the uh, white here uh, let's talk about the posterior uh, divisions let's talk the posterior posterior divisions uh, of uh, all uh, trunks this is the posterior division of I don't think this is a good color let's, let's choose this 
the posterior division of the middle, the posterior division of the upper, and the posterior division of the inferior trunk, uh, trunks. So, uh, divisions of the trunks, they form, uh, they unite, as we mentioned, and they form the posterior cord. So it's easy. All the posterior divisions, they come and unite and they form the posterior cord. Now, uh, here we shall also uh, speak about it here. The anterior division of the upper trunk plus the anterior division of the middle trunk they unite and they form the lateral cord however the anterior division of the anterior division of the lower trunk just simply carries on as the medial cord so let me summarize all this to you again union roots they form trunks they divide anterior and posterior division union again all the posterior divisions uh, they form posterior cord the anterior division of the upper trunk plus the anterior division of the middle trunk they form the lateral cord uh, and the uh, anterior division by itself of the uh, lower trunk forms the medial uh, cord uh, that was the uh, the cords uh, station or the uh, uh, area here and then now after uh, uh, union it should be followed by uh, division again so we call it terminal uh, branches each chord give us uh, gives us uh, uh, some terminal uh, branches we will talk about them uh, in uh, details now uh, as you uh, seen it here the brachial plexus it's uh, easy to memorize it if you keep this uh, in your mind it's union and subsequent division uh, roots they unite and they form trunks roots they unite and they form trunks trunks they divide into anterior division and posterior division all posterior divisions they form the posterior cord here again when they unite uh, however the anterior division they choose to superior and middle uh, trunks they form the lateral cord the uh, m the inferior trunk forms the anterior division of the inferior trunk forms the medial cord so uh, union division union and now we shall talk about the terminal branches for me uh, what matters is the uh, uh, branches let's talk about uh, terminal uh, branches uh, from the lateral uh, cord uh, the uh, these are the uh, 2L1M uh, branches uh, and they are easy to be memorized uh, the first one from the uh, lateral uh, cord is this uh, nerve the lateral pectoral nerve we talked about this nerve it supplies the uh, pectoralis major uh, muscle uh, then uh, from the lateral cord we're gonna get this 
terminal branch which is most important one here is the musculocutaneous nerve and finally the lateral cord give gives this branch uh, we call it lateral root of the median nerve we're gonna talk about this very important nerve this is the median nerve the median nerve is made out of uh, two roots the lateral root coming from the lateral cord of the uh, brachial plexus and the medial root is coming from the medial uh, cord of the brachial plexus so uh, when we uh, name the branches of the lateral cord it should be clear that it gives off a lateral pectoral nerve that is one the first one the second one is the musculocutaneous uh, nerve and it contributes to the uh, median uh, nerve so it gives off uh, two and a half uh, nerves a lateral pectoral plus musculocutaneous uh, nerves uh, and half the lateral root of uh, the median uh, nerve uh, we need to understand that the terminal branch the most important here as a nerve is the musculocutaneous uh, nerve how about the medial cord uh, the medial cord should be memorized uh, with this uh, word keeping in your mind key, uh, keep it in your mind uh, 4 m uh, 4 m's plus uh, ulnar uh, let's go and see this uh, uh, 4 m's it gives off medial pectoral nerve medial pectoral uh, medial cutaneous nerve of the arm medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm and uh, uh, this is M the first M second M third M and of course the uh, fourth M is the medial uh, root of the median uh, nerve uh, plus the ulnar nerve so that was uh, those were the branches of the medial uh, cord of the brachial plexus how to memorize them for m plus ulnar they go like uh, medial pectoral from the lateral cord we had the lateral pectoral from the medial cord we have medial pectoral uh, nerve supplies both muscles the medial uh, the la, uh, pectoral is major and minor then uh, medial cutaneous nerve of the arm it supplies the skin of the arm on the medial side then medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm it supplies the skin over uh, the medial side of the forearm and of course the medial root of the median nerve finally we have the ulnar nerve uh, so uh, as you can see from the medial cord we uh, will uh, talk and highlight this nerve ulnar nerve and the medial root of the median nerve we will talk about it uh, as one and a half what do you mean by one and a half uh, the ulnar nerve as a complete nerve and half of the uh, of course the median uh, nerve طب, how about the other nerves they are cutaneous uh, to the skin and this one to the pectoral uh, uh, muscle so I will elab uh, elaborate on this uh, as we uh, conclude Finally, let's talk about the branches of the posterior uh, cord. Branches of the posterior cord are, can be summarized uh, uh, with the word ulnar. Now, ulnar is a branch from the medial cord. Don't co get confused here. However, uh, the posterior cord gives uh, five branches. Uh, U, upper subscapular. L, lower subscapular. Uh, then uh, that was U, L, N, nerve to uh, latissimus dorsi as it's written here or thoracodorsal nerve we already talked about it supplies the latissimus dorsi muscle and uh, the two terminal branches axillary and uh, radial nerves axillary nerve and radial nerve so uh, as you can see the posterior cord uh, gives off uh, five branches 
how to memorize them uh, the word ulnar upper subscapular lower subscapular nerve to latissimus dorsi axillary and radial nerves now uh, for me uh, you need to memorize uh, uh, all the uh, all what we discussed but you have to highlight from the lateral cord this is the terminal branch musculocutaneous nerve from the medial cord it is ulnar uh, nerve so we have until now two nerves from the lateral and medial cords we have this nerve median nerve so we have three branches coming from the anterior divisions from the anterior divisions now the divisions are tags what comes from anterior divisions should be seen only in the flexors compartment in the anterior compartments of the uh, arm and forearm so you will see the uh, musculocutaneous nerve supplying the uh, anterior compartment of the arm uh, the ulnar nerve and the median nerve you will see them in the anterior compartment of the forearm and in the uh, and as well in the hand so this is very important now uh, However, posterior divisions they give us they give us posterior cord. Now the terminal branches of the posterior cord are the axillary and the radial nerve. So these are the most important nerves uh, out of the posterior division. So the posterior division gives us two terminal nerves radio uh, axillary nerve axillary and radial now the axillary would supply the deltoid muscle and that's it however the radial nerve is the biggest representative of the posterior cord and it supplies the muscles of the posterior compartment of the arm forearm and it reaches the hand so uh, ultimately out of the uh, whole brachial plexus we need to focus on these nerves and you need to memorize their root value uh, out of the lateral cord as you can see it is the musculocutaneous nerve uh, uh, root value c5 6 and 7 so it takes from c5 c6 and C7 now uh, median nerve it takes from C6 7 8 T1 what does this mean how to memorize this uh, it takes all the roots of the brachial plexus except C5 so the median nerve by all means is a huge nerve uh, it has uh, one root value, second, third, fourth. Three uh, root values out of the brachial plexus. So I will memorize it this way. It, the whole uh, brachial plexus C5 T1. And the median nerve takes all of it except C5. This is uh, one of the most important nerves in the upper limb. And you have to memorize its root value. Now the ulnar nerve also is a very important nerve in the upper limb and uh, it takes c7 uh, c8 t1 uh, it takes uh, 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 take just uh, c6 does not contribute to the ulnar uh, nerve so median then ulnar there is a sequence here uh, of them musculocutaneous c5 6 7 no t1 then median nerve uh, no c5 but has the whole package of the brachial plexus the ulnar nerve as well uh, it has c7 c8 t1 uh, those are the branches as i said from the anterior division so what does this mean for you you will never ever see any of them in the posterior compartments of the upper limb you will see them where in the anterior compartments only that's why we teach you divisions you, you we teach you things that we use uh, 
so whenever we talk about anterior divisions it means by hook and crook they should be forming nerves that should supply the uh, anterior compartments or the flexors of the anterior compartments of the upper limb uh, that leaves us with the posterior divisions forming at the posterior cord gives us the axillary nerve C uh, uh, 56 the easiest thing to memorize and the radi radial nerve as you can see it takes C5, uh, C5 6 7 8 T1 no wonder this is uh, uh, the uh, biggest nerve in the uh, brachial plexus it takes uh, the root value of all uh, the brachial plexus no wonder it supplies all the muscles in the posterior compartment of the arm forearm and it supplies also the uh, hand so uh, ultimately the brachial plexus should be uh, uh, learned as the main uh, nerve supply to the upper uh, limb uh, we need to know that it is a union and subsequent division of uh, different roots C5 and C6 uh, unite and form upper trunk C7 does not unite with anything it passes uh, in the middle we call it the middle trunk and of course C8 plus T1 they form the lower trunk these trunk are arranged in your body in their anatomical position upper middle and uh, lower then uh, of course union and subsequent division uh, trunks they should uh, they should of course uh, divide and they give us the uh, anterior division and posterior division the posterior divisions of all uh, trunks they give us the posterior cord the anterior division of the upper and the middle they give, give us the lateral cord however the anterior division of the lower, lower trunk give us, uh, uh, gives us the uh, medial cord uh, so we have here uh, three cords and we name them medial and lateral uh, posterior according to the second part of the axillary uh, artery I think we talked about this uh, uh, many uh, times and uh, uh, of course after the chords we have concluded by terminal branches coming from the each chord the lateral chord give us uh, 2m uh, plus uh, l uh, lateral pectoral nerve musculocutaneous medial root um, uh, and the uh, 2l uh, sorry and 1m uh, lateral pectoral uh, pectoralis major, uh, musculocutaneous muscle, uh, musculocutaneous nerve, and of course the lateral root of medial nerve. Uh, and uh, how to memorize the medial cord and its branches? Again, it is uh, 4M plus uh, ulnar ma, uh, um, medial, uh, medial pectoral nerve, uh, nerve to pectoralis uh, nerve, um, cutaneous nerve of the arm. A cutaneous nerve of the forearm and finally medial root of the ulnar nerve uh, plus the uh, uh, medial root of the median nerve sorry and the ulnar uh, nerve uh, the posterior cord give us uh, also five branches uh, summarized in the word ulnar uh, upper subscapular lower subscapular and of course uh, nerve to let us nerve dorsi uh, were two terminal branches axillary and radial nerves now here uh, we should uh, highlight and uh, conclude that uh, roots and the trunks some of them they give branches so when we go back to this drawing here you would see that from the roots there is a very interesting nerve uh, uh, C5, C6 and C7 they give us this nerve long thoracic nerve so the long thoracic nerve is not coming or originating from the trunk uh, the uh, trunks or the divisions or the cords it is immediately coming from the 
routes which routes c5 6 and uh, 7 um, also here we have this uh, uh, nerve uh, a dorsal uh, scapular nerve also it's written there also but where this one is most uh, important coming from uh, the roots uh, so uh, two nerves the one that i uh, demonstrated just to you it is the long thoracic nerve now how about uh, the trunks uh, here the trunks they give uh, of course they divide into anterior and posterior division but the uh, upper trunk gives uh, two nerves only the upper trunk uh, gives directly branches uh, suprascapular nerve c5 c6 uh, and nerve to subclavius and they are uh, from the upper uh, uh, trunk 56 56 also uh, these two nerves uh, we mentioned them uh, nerve to subclavius of course it supplies the uh, subclavius muscle and sometimes uh, it contributes to the formation of the phrenic nerve and when it is present we call it accessory uh, phrenic uh, nerve you just need to know uh, this piece of information later on we may uh, elaborate on that uh, the suprascapular nerve also we uh, discussed that nerve it supplies uh, two important muscles in the uh, scapular uh, region it's uh, the supraspinatus and infraspinatus uh, muscles and uh, finally uh, the last thing to talk about here is the axillary uh, lymph uh, nodes 22 uh, 3 in number they drain vessels from uh, the lateral quadrant of the breast the superficial lymph vessels the thoracoabdominal walls or above the level of umbilicus the vessels from the upper uh, limb so as you may know we didn't uh, talk about this maybe in the lower limb but you know that uh, uh, lymphatic system uh, is uh, uh, the uh, defensive uh, mechanism of your body uh, it collects the lymphatics from the skin superficial fascia uh, and they go into a station in the lower limb it uh, was the inguinal around the inguinal in the popliteal fossa in the inguinal uh, area and the uh, femoral triangle uh, here in the upper in the upper limb it is the uh, axilla where they uh, uh, where they arrange themselves uh, and uh, what matters uh, is uh, to uh, know that they are arranged in a six group uh, anterior a group or we call it pectoral uh, group uh, then uh, posterior uh, lateral uh, central uh, infraclavicular and apical, uh, uh, apical uh, group uh, I may talk about them uh, in details uh, I don't think we have the time here they are very important and they should be uh, of a great value uh, they are uh, when we talk about the breast now in the upper limb uh, we will not uh, talk about the breast here in details of course because it has uh, uh, one or two, two lectures about it in the uh, uh, UGS system uh, in, uh, during your third year uh, of studying here uh, so you just need to know these uh, uh, lymph nodes uh, they are there uh, and of course uh, we will talk about them in details later on but not in this course